So the exhibition is between darkness and light. What does that mean? For me, photography, is, light is so important to a picture. And I love to photograph uh, at, at, at night or when the light's very low and to get a nice, interesting mix of shadows and light and, and shape. To me, that's where I think most of my work is, is done. This is the, the blue city of uh, Jodhpur in Rajasthan, India. And there's this custom, this tradition, where they, many of the people paint their homes blue. Not everybody, but many people do. And, and it's, it's just it has this poetry, this harmony. And I photographed this scene just after sunset. And the, the, the shapes and the design and the colors, it's just so, uh, so, to, so beautiful to me. And uh, the architecture is so, uh, you feel like this could be 100 or 200 years ago. Every building is another family, and it, there's lights and all sorts of things. I, I just, uh, I think there's so many little stories just in that one photograph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually this uh, holy, it's a Hindu festival in, in uh, particularly in Rajasthan where they get together and they dance and they're drinking and they're carrying on and they're throwing a lot of color. The color is not only um, sort of like a powder, but it's also they mix, with, mix it with water and they're just throwing it everywhere. And if you walk through the streets of uh, any part of Rajasthan, you're just going to get covered and color. It's just crazy. It's just, it's like this big party that goes on all day. Mm. Sounds wonderful. Now you worked for a newspaper when you first left university uh, from Pennsylvania State University, but your first freelance gig was in India. What did you find when you got to India? How did it affect you? India was like another planet to me. It was like stepping into another time. Or, um, everything was different. But that's what I loved about it. I loved being shocked. And everything was sort of like incredible. And it, it really gets you out of your comfort zone in every, in every sense. And you really feel alive. And you really, everything is so kind of vibrant. Um, I've been back to India, I would say, 80 or 90 times since that first trip. And there's still many places I haven't seen and yet to go to. Is it right that you, you were supposed to go for two months, but you ended up staying for two years? My first trip to India was actually scheduled for about six weeks. And I suddenly just fell in love with the whole subcontinent, South Asia. And that six weeks turned into two years. I literally didn't come back. I was in India, I went to Pakistan, I went into Afghanistan twice, Nepal, and I just didn't want to. In fact, when I went home after two years, I returned back to Afghanistan uh, a month later and stayed for another six months. So you made your name in Afghanistan uh, with the, the Soviet invasion of, uh, of Afghanistan back in 79. How did you actually get into the country? I, I was in a small hotel in northern Pakistan in 1979. I met some refugees who told me that this war was raging literally right across the, the border and they invited me to go in and photograph. And I thought, well, that sounds like an adventure. I, so I went in with them and spent two weeks and I had never been in a war zone, I'd never been shot at. I must admit I was a bit frightened about you know the whole thing. But I, I just, it, it was the uh, I would say this story really got under my skin and I had to go back uh, time and time again, I, maybe 30 times. Were you aware at the time of how important it was that you were taking these pictures and you were actually getting them out to the world? I just uh, was just on a kind of an expeditionary, kind of exploring, kind of wandering around. But uh, a few months later, the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, went over, basically took it over. And my photographs, which were already some months old, suddenly were being published in every major magazine and newspaper all over the world. 
and almost overnight, um, I was suddenly started selling work, and, and my work was being seen, and uh, it was on page one of the New York Times and all the major news magazines.